around. Another topic that you're talking about is cardiovascular disease. Yes. The common thought for the last 20 years is uh, too much cholesterol leads to blockages, which leads to heart attack or, or a heart disease. So we're told to lower it, um, oftentimes as much as possible. Uh, what do you think of that? That whole theory. I, th yeah, I think it's completely wrong. I, I definitely uh, feel strongly and I feel uh, confident that I'm right. And in fact, my husband has been uh, a beneficiary of my, uh, of my thoughts and he okay. has completely embraced what I've recommended. He eats a high fat, high cholesterol diet. He was diagnosed with heart disease eight years ago, okay. put on a high dose statin, immediately started suffering from a lot of side effects. I started reading everything I could about heart disease and about statin drugs and uh, quickly realized he shouldn't be on that drug and discovered really quite fortuitously this link with sulfate deficiency. Um, I was digging into the early literature and back in the 1960s there were studies that showed that you could introduce ha um, heart disease-like effects in monkeys by feeding them a high-fat, high-cholesterol diet. But if you also gave them foods that were rich in sulfur at the same time, then you couldn't make this happen. It no longer produced this heart disease profile. So this gave me a huge hint that something about sulfur uh, was important to protect from heart disease. And so, um, so Victor eats a high sulfur diet as well as a high um, cholesterol diet. And, um, and then the other thing is to get a lot of sunlight exposure because sunlight exposure to the skin allows your cells in the skin to produce sulfate and produ in fact produce cholesterol sulfate which mm. then supplies cholesterol to the body. And cholesterol sulfate is a wonderful molecule because it solves the transport problems of both cholesterol and sulfate by just having them join hands. It's really, really a neat system. And um, this is how the body wants to be transporting cholesterol is as the sulfated form. But uh, but if there isn't enough sunlight exposure, or if you're exposed to glyphosate, which messes up the enzyme that produces the sulfate, then you're going to be stuck with having to transport cholesterol without sulfate, and also be stuck with uh, losing your ability to transport sulfate. So you end up with deficiencies throughout the body in both cholesterol and sulfate, and your liver has to scramble to find some other way to ship the cholesterol, which has to be inside these lipid particles because if the cholesterol is no longer water soluble once it doesn't have the sulfate. So you've got to package it up inside these LDL particles, which are considered to be the so-called bad cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And so the liver ends up shipping out lots of LDL in order to deliver the cholesterol to the body, which the cells desperately need. So it's not the right answer to uh, to poison the liver so that it can't produce that cholesterol. Um, and what's really interesting about the plaque is that it becomes a place where cholesterol sulfate is produced. And so when you study what's going on in those regions that have the, they do, they do in fact, the cholesterol does in fact gather along with fat inside those clogged arteries. That I'm not denying that that happens. But that is actually a, an active site for cholesterol sulfate production. And, and you, in order to be able to ship the cholesterol out to the HDL particles, you need to sulfate it first. And those, those sites um, are able to do that, but they have to take um, a hit on oxidative damage in order to do it. And that's because the normal system that produces the sulfate isn't working. So you end up with damaging the artery wall with oxygen, which is, a, you know, it's sort of oxygen radicals, which right. is, super, um, you know, these, all these sort of, um, reactive oxygen species that they talk about, so this inflammation. All of that has to happen in order to make the sulfate, in order to be able to get the cholesterol out of the plaque and then deliver the cholesterol and the sulfate to the heart, which the heart says, thank you very much, that's wonderful because they it desperately needs it, mm -hmm. and that will avoid um, heart failure. Okay. So it's a, it's, a, it's a second tier choice to have the clogged arteries in order to supply the heart with these essential nutrients. Mm -hmm. And what you would rather be doing it is to provide them through the natural means, which is through the sunlight exposure to the skin. But that system is broken both because there's not enough sunlight and because the uh, glyphosate and other poisons, even for example, the aluminum in the sunscreen, is going to mess up the body's natural ability to make the sulfate.